Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and if there is one thing that can unite two teams that are always at conflict, it's the world of gaming and that's because I have with me Mithun who's from our Bombay team. Now despite all the conflicts that you guys have seen, uh, we pull each other's leg on our Facebook lives but all that has come to us because Mithun has flown down all the way from Bombay to Delhi to be with us at an event related to gaming and you can hear all the announcements happening. That's because people are playing Gears of War and FIFA and Mithun, why don't you tell us what your experience has been for the event today? Uh, wonderful experience so far. It, it really brought me back to the old college days when you used to have a lot more games and very less studies happening around, especially during the college festivals. But this seems to be a much bigger event, basically well done uh, for the less scale that it's being organized on. We see a lot of Xbox Ones for the average guy to come around and play with. Then there are tournaments happening at the back. Then there's my favorite, the PC, PC. Master Race. It has been represented wonderfully at this place. We have around uh, 10 PCs, people playing CSGO, which if you guys watch our feeds, then we are great fans of. And uh, aside from FIFA and uh, Gears of War, yes. do we have anything else, Ami? So there are a few other games. You have, uh, I think, Lego, Marvel, Avengers happening out here. You have a little bit of uh, FIFA on calls. So you've got Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, which is happening right there. Uh, I think these are the Xboxes, which are just there for you to check out some of the games that are there. Uh, we have uh, FIFA and I think FIFA is on the PC and the consoles. Mithun and I actually participated in some of the gaming activities happening out there. So uh, Participated might be a bit too much yeah, of an exaggeration. Coming from the media side, we were given the luxury of a seat at the table in the beginning and said, hey guys, you know, just have a little bit of fun and then go away, let the pros do their work. And it was pretty much the first time I played uh, Gears of War and I sucked royally basically. I didn't have to do anything and these guys won just straight off. That's not saying that they didn't do anything. They won uh, fair and square, but uh, basically, uh, well, I couldn't opine anything more about these things. Okay, so the topic at hand is Microsoft and Mountain Dew today have come together to talk about uh, not only a beverage that Mountain Dew has announced, which we're not really here to talk about, but a gaming competition which is going to have prizes. We've heard, uh, at least as of recording this, we've heard that Xbox Ones are going to be giveaways. That is uh, probably Microsoft's uh, uh, inclination towards something like this. So, uh, can you do you have any idea about the gaming scene in India in online? I'm a little more clueless about this. So, can you tell us what the online gaming scenario in India is from your experience and what does an event like this entail for something like that? So, uh, coming from a gaming background that uh, we've all, as in Samir is also from a gaming background, most of the gamers they end up playing uh, during their college phases, during their studies. And once that phase is out, gaming really doesn't present more of a future as a career. So you all end up giving up those uh, much loved, uh, what do you call, ventures and uh, you go for something that's more mainstream. There's nothing wrong with that, but with these big events coming to India, it, it shows hope. It gives the inner child in us a little more hope and we certainly, certainly hope that these guys would have come much, much earlier back when we were in college, you know, playing at these games. But uh, it's never too late. There are lots of young guys who are just looking at uh, these things and it presents a great opportunity for them. Uh, it's not just uh, Game uh, View Arena, that's this particular event that's happening. There's also other events, ESL is on the horizon and we hear other gaming leagues might be coming to India soon enough and you'll start seeing more notices about these things in the coming days. But right now, uh, we are going to go around the show floor Look at the people playing, have a talk with the chat, have a chat with the gamers and everything, see how they are experiencing this particular event. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go and quickly see if we can get a few of these gamers away from their consoles and PCs to talk to us. So uh, right now we have two professional players, part of CSGO uh, community in India. And these two happen to be part of uh, Team Nuisance. They're based out of Delhi and they primarily play CSGO. So let's take a look and let's see what they take about uh, this particular event. Hey, uh, could you introduce yourself to the camera? Uh, yeah, my name is Manu Karki. I play as Aijin Krat. And my family game, main Counter-Strike Global Avenger. Hi, uh, I'm the captain of the team. Uh, I'm mostly the entry fragger, like who makes the plays and stuff. So, I have the, one of the most important roles in the team. So, looking at this particular event over here, what is your opinion about these events? Would you like to see more of these happening? How is your experience about this particular event so far? Uh, there are already a lot of events happening in Delhi. Like last month, there was a gaming mong which with the prize pool of like two, three lakhs. Uh, we lost that because of a guy. It doesn't matter now, so but we lost it uh, with the team which is uh, here as well. So it's good that events are happening in Delhi as well because uh, CS:GO in Delhi is not much, fa uh, not famous. 
in Mumbai, Bangalore, there are much more events. Uh, mainly because of the reason that Delhi people have a different mentality. The organization and the stuff is not so good. Like even today, the, our match was supposed to start at 11. It started at 2. So mostly people are like frustrated in Delhi gaming scene and they just quit and they don't take it seriously. That's why it's good that it's happening but people should be more serious about it. So basically some frustrations about the way things are organized in Delhi versus Mumbai but I guess there's more to be said about the way things are organized overall but I'm guessing it will improve over time right right basically so ESL is coming in India right yeah. so what's your opinion on that ESL it's a big platform for Indian gamers actually India never got any options to, uh, to rise high to go above the national level so finally ESL is in India and they recently organized one starter cup and which my friend Simmer Sethi and he lead one Kolkata team to uh, finals and he came second yeah he's the runner up and they lost to unfortunately they lost to brutality so well played to Invisible Wings but still I'm, I'm, it's real good to be as a gamer You're like ESL coming to India it's a good thing so what would you say is the biggest hindrance in India when it comes to esports right now we see a lot of Southeast Asian countries they're doing really well but India is much bigger and we are a little lagging behind. So what in your opinion should be done in order to help gamers achieve more? Mostly parents should understand that it's not just a game, it's more than that and it's everywhere I think. So personally in my region my parents don't allow me to play games. That's why I'm lagging behind uh, Simmer's 80 as well. So I think mostly it's the parents and mostly the gamers who go outside India are above 25. I don't think it's their age to play this game. Because uh, even we need a chance and uh, due to politics and stuff, uh, we are not able to make a team which will go outside and win. Like last year, two of our teams went to Dubai and uh, US, uh, but they lost. Because of the sole reason, uh, it, they weren't good enough. So we need to practice and we need to, we need to leave the politics behind and make a team that, that can actually win. Not just, you know, this is my friend, I'll take him and that. Behind this thing is like, uh, Lack of sponsors in India. It's like in, your, in uh, foreign countries, you see like they're wearing a jersey, Steel Series, Razor, like many drinks, Monster, everything. But India, like you don't have any sponsor until unless you fly, uh, you find a private section. Like they will be giving money, they will be investing something in you. But India, this is no sponsor like thing. It's like like India is lacking because of this thing. We don't have money. It's like people aren't spending money on gamers. But as you like, my friend said, parents they're not supporting thing. You can't pause an online game. So game is a serious thing, man. So you can't pause an online game. Aside from that, let me burst a little bubble. Uh, you said there are no sponsors, but uh, from the industry point of view, we actually know our sponsors which are looking out for clans. But the major complaint that they have is the lack of discipline amongst gamers. What is your opinion about lack of discipline amongst gamers? You know, what I have seen is uh, there's one team which has more than eight sponsors. They're good, but there are teams which need sponsors and they're not able to get them because they don't have contacts. Because contacts and uh, fame is the only thing that matters. So and uh, so we, there's a team brutality, they have like eight sponsors. They're a good team, they won the ESL tournament, but like Invisible Wings, they have very less sponsors. They have potential, but they don't have sponsors. Especially in, if you talk about Delhi, none of the team in Delhi is a sponsor. Be it Dota, be it CSGO, be it anything, they don't have sponsors. So it's, uh, if, we, if we get fame, we'll obviously be more disciplined. And uh, if you're not even getting chance to play seriously, then why should we be serious? That's right. So basically you heard it. There are teams with a lot of potential in India, but they don't have sponsors. So sponsors, brands, big brands, if you're looking, you have a bunch of talented players in India. They're just on the lookout for you guys. So if you are at all looking for new gamers, we have Team Nuisance. Get in touch with them. Get in touch with their friends. They are looking out for sponsors so that we can represent our country in esports. Okay, so this is essentially the end of the event. It was a collaboration between Microsoft and Mountain Dew to launch an energy drink which no one cares about. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but um, it was also about bringing together gamers and having a community about people gaming. So what do you think about it? 
So we got to meet like quite a few gamers, professional gamers and young ones who are aspiring to be professional gamers and events like these are sort of you know encouraging for these guys because uh, there are many big companies, the gaming leagues coming into India and gaming as a career seems slightly viable. There's a whole family aspect that still needs to be taken care of but still it's something wonderful to look forward to. Other than that, how did you feel the game and the overall thing was sort of you know organized? I think I think it was actually pretty good uh, for one of the first few gaming events where they're actually getting together gamers setting up consoles and PCs. Uh, yeah, like you said, they had a few pro gamers out here, which was nice to see them. Uh, but if this is the first stepping stone, it looks like a good stepping stone so that we can see more pro gaming events happening in the future in India. Hopefully, some of you, if you're watching this, are pro gamers, uh, could eventually achieve the celebrity status that a lot of international gamers have. And um, perhaps end up being right. like what those South Korean players are. You get entire huge uh, endorsements. Uh, gaming is a profession where it's licensed and taxed. That could possibly happen in India if uh, you guys sort of put your weight behind it, uh, get involved with the community, talk to these guys. There are a lot of events. They're just waiting for people like you to come and participate, be part of the community, grow it, and soon enough you'll start seeing more bigger, bigger things coming to India. ESL, one of the biggest players in the sort of uh, arena is sort of coming to India with a price pool of what, 42 lakhs? Yeah, 42 lakhs. So that's huge. And they are just the stepping stone basically. If they do well, and that's completely dependent on you guys, then you can expect a lot more bigger tournaments coming to India like MLG and the bigger other uh, bigger ones. So aside from that, uh, what else did you feel uh, the whole event uh, sort of you know exuded to? Well, uh, apart from the fact that it was really, really loud and a lot of green, <laughs> Uh, but this was, yes, uh, just a Microsoft and uh, Mountain Dew kind of collaboration. So Sony missed out, I guess, uh, with the whole PlayStation perspective, if we can actually talk about that here. But yeah, I think apart from that, it was fun. There was free chips, there was free food, there was free drinks. Uh, a lot of salt and sugar, so we'll have yeah, a lot so of uh, hyper, uh, what do you call, teenagers in about 15, 20 minutes from now. So I guess we'll make our leave before that happens. Absolutely, and as always, you guys know how to get in touch with us. You can pick up a magazine of the Stands and Read Score, which is all about gaming from us here at Digit and of course the magazine itself. You can hit us up on digit.in, which is our website. We keep it updated every day. Score.digit.in for gaming. You can like us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. We're all over the place, so please follow us if you are interested in gaming or technology in general. We'll catch you in another video. It's Mithun from the Bombay team at Digit and Samir here from the Delhi team. We'll see you soon.